So I haven't made a video in like two weeks. I was making a video and I stopped making it. Uh, I actually put my car up for sale and it's old. So I don't have that car anymore. Uh, probably You can probably tell by the title of the thumbnail, I don't have it anymore. Uh, the only reason I did get rid of it is just because it was starting to cost me some money to fix it and repair it. And I need something that I can drive back and forth to work. As much as I wanted to keep it, uh, I only had like two or three thousand dollars to buy another vehicle to daily drive and just right now it's not a good time to try to find a running and driving car that has ac for three thousand dollars you can find them but it's i i just couldn't find any around where i'm at and i just put it on for sale didn't think it was going to sell that quick and it did and i did buy a vehicle and this is kind of going to be kind of the reveal so i know a couple of y'all are going to be mad some of y'all probably won't care uh, but you know, it's at the end of the day, it's my vehicle. I can do what I want with it. So this is going to be a reveal. It's dirty right now, but I'll put a time lapse and clean it up. But, uh, this is what I did get. So yes, I did end up getting a truck. Uh, some of y'all might be mad because I did talk about this like two or three months ago, probably four months ago now, but I was needing a truck for the summer and just cause I have this truck doesn't mean I don't like Mustangs anymore. Or I'm not in the car community but i'm gonna kind of talk about that subject a little bit um i needed a truck because i need to use you know i need to do things i need to uh, go fishing whatever we're going camping a lot this summer so you know it only made sense for me to get a truck i was i was debating on buying another mustang and getting like a newer one but just the prices are so high right now it's ridiculous but i actually didn't buy this truck i traded my mustang for this truck and some cash and other couple things on top of it so i didn't necessarily sell my car but it was just a trade i couldn't pass up and this truck has been probably one of my dream trucks i know it sounds dream truck but it kind of sounds funny but uh to be honest like i've never had a full-size vehicle never had a four-door vehicle uh was getting rough taking my son in and out of that car i was just getting tired of it uh but yeah it is a four-door has a it is a z71 four-wheel drive four-wheel drive works great uh it has 200,000 miles on it, but for a truck, it's not that big of a deal, especially the 5.3. Uh, this year, 99 to 07, were the best engines made in these trucks. So, yeah, but so on to it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be making any necessary content with Mustangs now. Uh, I plan on buying a Fox Body or like an SN95 or a New Edge. Uh, not soon, but in the next like half year, year or so, to have a project. Because I still want a Mustang on the channel, but just that car it was basically already built and i was fixing i wasn't fixing expensive things but i fixed an oil leak and then i was getting to where like it didn't have like the power that i wanted i wanted more power and i wanted a coyote but i don't have coyote money so i couldn't afford a coyote at this, at this time i i could go buy one and pay on payments but i don't like to go that route i like to own my cars i've never paid monthly on a car other than my wife's and that's you know this is our go around car we drive everywhere so onto the truck it is a 2006 cat eye uh, i think 05 they changed the hood and put the hd hood on it um the only things it really has done to it is led headlights some cheap amazon headlight housings uh, i need to repaint this it's a little scratch right here but uh, the one, the only things I've really done to it right now is I put the Z71 badge on it because I think it looks pretty badass, if I say, do say it myself. Uh, I did get these tires with the truck, so I put these on. They're almost brand new mud tires. Uh, they're 33 by 12 and a half. And then another thing I did, I bought this truck and it had no exhaust on it. So I just took it in my shop, put a little Flowmaster 10 that I bought for my buddy, welded a hanger on it, and it is good to go. So yes it is an lt uh these trucks were optioned very weird so this truck is fully loaded but it doesn't have a sunroof or heated seats but it does have leather seats so it's fully optioned has sirius xm steering wheel controls bose system but it doesn't have the heated seats and the uh sunroof so a lot of these trucks were optioned weird getting one with a sunroof and fully or uh optioned out is pretty like you know kind of like a unicorn as a lmf screw i don't know if y'all watch him but he talks about it a lot he bought one and they're you know they're pretty hard to come by 
but my thing is uh i've never built a truck before like i've had trucks and i've done a little things to them you know it's maintenance and stuff but i've never actually built a truck so this is going to be new for me it's going to be new for the channel uh obviously you know it's going to bring a lot more people into the channel uh those of you guys that only like watching mustang content i'm sorry if you want to subscribe you know it's not a big deal but you know i'm still doing car content or truck content so yeah i'm gonna build on this truck you know i eventually want to put you know a little bit bigger lift on it and i might even go the route of lowering it you know there's always you know there's different possibilities just because it's a four-wheel drive doesn't mean i can't lower it so you know i want to do like maintenance things first like it has a rear main seal leak which is super common on these trucks it's not a big deal i can fix it it's only like a 500 dollars repair if i do take it to a shop um but you know that takes you know dropping the transmission and all that stuff so uh what i want to do though is rebuild the front end before i do any of that i want to re rebuild the front end has a check engine light for knock sensors and then which is common on these two also but i want to do that i want to get all check engine lights off i want to rebuild the front end uh it doesn't have any rust anywhere really except this one rocker on the side which is common it's very good it just has a couple spots and I think they're only on this back part. So one thing I'm gonna do, and people tell you not to do it, but I'm gonna grind that down, kind of get the rust out, and I'm gonna put some rock liner over it, or even some covers just to cover it up for now. Uh, I could probably do a thing where I can, I can cut that off, take the spot welds off, and re-weld one. Painting, you know, it's not a, it's not a hard thing to do, but it is costly. So that is another thing I'm gonna do. But as of right now, uh, this is how it's gonna sit. Uh, I'm going to order in a rebuild kit for the front end, and that's going to be another video. And so I'm just going to get on to cleaning it, and then we can go show you the inside. I just got the truck all cleaned up. I didn't detail the inside yet just because uh, I don't have enough time today, but I'm gonna do it soon. Uh, it's a little dirty, it's not that dirty, but yeah, got the truck cleaning up good. It shines up pretty good. I mean, for being however old it is, you know, older than my Mustang was. So I'm gonna kind of just show y'all the inside of it. All other interior, tan, pretty basic uh, interior on these trucks. Um, you know, a lot of trucks have this same color in here, but what is weird, you know, it doesn't have a sunroof. It has both speakers, but it doesn't have heated seats. I, always, I think that's strange because I've, I've owned one of these trucks and I've seen a lot of them. I've never seen one without heated seats with leather seats. It's kind of kind of strange to me, but uh, it is a full-size truck. You know, my son's car seat's in here, but it is a lot better for me to put them in there because I just have to walk up, put them in there instead of squatting in the back seat and putting them in the back of it. So it, you know, it is a lot better. Uh, see this truck does have, I don't know if it even works, but it's, I think it's rear audio or something like that. I, mean, I haven't even checked if it works, has couples back here and then rear AC. You know, these trucks were pretty, 
nice back in the day so you know they're still pretty nice and they drive good but uh yeah that's really the interior i mean it's not basic but you know you see a lot of these trucks and they have most of the same interior uh, but yeah it has the full steering wheel controls fog lights automatic lights you know uh auto climate control which kind of sucks but you know it does the job the ac works I've never had a Silverado that the AC doesn't work freaking awesome, and this truck's AC works freaking great. I mean, it's colder than my Mustang for some reason, but yeah, that is that is one good thing about this truck is the AC is super, super cold, but it does have an aftermarket radio. The guy that I got the truck from, he's going to give me the stock one because I want the stock one. Uh, I know you can set it up where you can use the steering wheel controls, but uh, I don't really care about the screen. I like having it look kind of stock. Like the Mustang, I really wanted a stock radio in it, but it didn't come with it, but it's no big deal. Um, yeah, it is a little dirty. Uh, the only thing I had to replace, and I got this from a junkyard, just an older seat cover. And it's a little rip, but I'm gonna buy one of these soon. They're not, they're not expensive. This was only $5 or $10 at the junkyard, so I just got it while I could right now, and I'm gonna buy an actual seat cover for both sides. Uh, on eBay, they're like 120 bucks for a pair with the foam, so that isn't a bad deal at all. And like, one thing I don't really like is it has the speaker box in there. Uh, I had to move it because my son's seat's over there. The seat doesn't go all the way back. I'm gonna put a box under here if I do keep the subs and if I don't keep them, I'm just gonna take them out and sell them. It's not a big deal. They're pretty nice subs. I think they're JBL or something like that. Uh, I'm not really a big system guy, so. You know it sounds decent the system sounds good without the subs so i'm not really caring about taking the actual uh subs out of the truck but yeah this is going to be the end of my video um uh this, you'll probably tell by the thumbnail what i got so it's not going to be that big of a surprise but it's going to be a surprise to a lot of people uh it is still a white vehicle so it's funny but uh yeah uh if you watch the end of this video and you stay subscribed please leave a like leave a comment tell me what you think uh, give me ideas on what to like what kind of Mustang I should buy in the future because now that I have a truck If I do go to ponies and Smokies next year and I buy a Mustang I can tow it out there I don't have to drive it all the way out there like I did last time which wasn't bad But it just sucked putting everything in that car and driving it all the way out there So if I could find a car like that like a three valve for like four thousand dollars that I think I can work on I'm all for it. You know, I'll buy one but in the meantime, you know, I'm gonna enjoy the summer go to the lake and whatever whatever we do this summer go camping so uh yeah uh this is going to be the end of my video uh please leave a like leave a comment please subscribe if you aren't already and uh peace guys